Hello, blessed and favored people. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening and I'm glad I thank God for this far he has brought me and for the far he's brought all of us. So uh, it's a hard time. None of us expected that we could be living at such a time that literally almost all schools in the world, children will be at home. But you know what? Nothing gets the Lord by surprise. Even this, he'll take us through. So today, uh, I started a series on anxiety disorders and uh, about one or two months ago, I'm really sorry for not being consistent. From today, I'll really try to be consistent so that at least every week you'll be getting a video from me. So about a month or two months ago, I shared on anxiety disorders and uh, I told you there are many types of anxiety disorders. So I remember measuring on one general anxiety disorder and if you haven't, have a look. If you haven't had a look at that video, I encourage you to do so. So today I want us to talk about something we call OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. Many times you've heard people say, I have OCD, I have OCD for this, or I know a friend of a friend of a friend who has OCD. I remember one day I was leaving town to home and I, I happened to sit in a matatu with a lady who, who told me she's struggling with OCD and she gave me her story. I'm not at liberty to say it because I haven't gotten permission from her. So what is OCD? Just as the word says, so O stands for obsessive, C compulsive, and then D disorder, meaning it's not normal. So it's an obsessive compulsive disorder. And a person can have either obsessions, compulsions, or both. So what is obsession? This is not, it's not a jargon, it's not a hard word. It's just, many times you hear people say, oh, I'm obsessed with this, I'm obsessed with this song. So obsession in this case just means recurrent and persistent thoughts or recurrent and persistent images or recurrent and persistent urges to do something and this is not something that comes in voluntary, but it's something that is intrusive and unwanted. And many times when these things occur, they cause you distress, they give you anxiety, they give you stress. It's not a pleasurable thing. So obsession just basically means recurrent, persistent thoughts, images, urges. And simple, maybe you're there and you've been having this thing. You have these recurrent thoughts about something. You constantly think about something. You don't want to, but you find yourself constantly thinking about something. And it doesn't give you pleasure, but it actually stresses you and gives you anxiety that you're constantly thinking about it. Or you have an urge to do something. Maybe in your heart, you have an urge, you just want to stab someone or you want to say something. And you see, it doesn't give you pleasure. So that's obsession. And then we have compulsion. Now, compulsive means you now, uh, what we have, what we have in compulsion is that we now have um, repetitive behaviors. So you have repetitive behaviors. And in this case, the behaviors are in an attempt to try and relieve some anxiety and distress that, that might occur if you don't do those actions. So that is what we mean by compulsion. And something you must realize is that compulsion behaviors, sometimes it is in response to an obsession that you have been having. And now, what, what are some of these examples or how do people with OCD at times present? So when it comes to the compulsion, to the repetitive behaviors, I, 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 I always call it triple CO. So you find people with OCD, what they do, number one, is that they they are constantly checking things repetitively. I don't know if, you, if you've done that. Maybe all the time the person wants to check out, did I switch off the lights? Uh, is the oven still open? Or I, gotta ch I have to check on this thing. You know, they are constantly checking. And then another thing is what you call compulsive counting. I don't know if you've met people who they just have that compulsion if probably uh you go to a building a story building you have that compassion you just want to count the stairs how many stairs are there one two three four or maybe bottles you want to count bottles or maybe we have cars and it's just that compulsive you, you see you want to count those cars how many one two three four or 
the all part of it is that you every time you keep putting things in a certain order almost all the time or a good part of your day you just want to keep things in a certain order probably i might come and i decide to put call get um toothpaste in a certain way uh, probably with the top and the bottom and you don't love that so you come and flip it the other way or all the time you're just putting things in order you're putting things in order and as, the, as i've said guys uh ocd it's not a pleasurable thing so which kind of people are more likely to get ocd mostly the onset of this disease is um in the young years uh, around 19.5 to 20 years old so guys i know you can listen to some birds i'm at home and i think there's a lot of life here living in the rural areas is really good i think the air is clean so what was i talking about oh yeah i got you so i was saying that sometimes uh, the onset is majorly in the young people 19.5 to 20 years if a person is above 35 years of age it's highly unlikely that you will start developing OCD then but if you're below that then there's high likelihood that you will develop it and you say that OCD is not does not make you happy you see you might want to try to stop doing something but when you stop doing something you feel so bad so you start the process all over again and you might ask me so what causes OCD the truth of the matter guys is I cannot pinpoint a specific thing that can cause OCD but what I know about this is that um, I've checked in uh, medical websites and some medical researchers and some of them have cited that probably a child who's been exposed to trauma or abuse or stress that could uh, contribute but there's no specific thing that I can say this is why you're having OCD but then about your CD, have hope and have faith, faith and be happy. Why? Because if possible, there are ways to manage this condition. There are ways to manage this anxiety disorder. And last time when I talked about general anxiety disorder, I remember talking about relaxation techniques. And I gave you some of the um, things that you can do to help you relax. Remember I have said that like with obsession, it tends to give you a lot of anxiety and distress. So if you can learn how to uh, try and relax, then that will help you. And then we also have uh, some psychological therapies. We call them psychotherapy. And this can really help you whereby they try to alter the way you think. Uh, what you call cognitive behavioral therapy they try to alter the way you think and your behavior to just try and reduce the cases of OCD and we also have an option of medication to help you so something about OCD is that you see it's it's normal that we might be obsessed with some things it's normal at times you can have that compulsive behavior you feel a like compassion you want to do something but now what's different with OCD is that it takes up most of your time this obsession and compulsion is happening per day at least more than an hour is just concentrated on the obsession and the compulsive behaviors and another thing is that it's not caused by a specific drug or by a medical condition so you cannot say that someone is sick and that's why they're having this and then the final thing about it is that um with ocd it's not caused by another psychological disorder maybe because someone has this disease so it has made them to have ocd so what i want to encourage you this evening is that if you have ocd do not be afraid if you think you have ocd take a step be strong and go to your doctor we have psychiatrists who can help you out the fact that you go to a psychiatrist does not mean you're mad you're not mad you're not a lunatic so don't be afraid go and get help and if you have any questions about OCD, I'll be glad for you to ask them in the comment section. And then another thing, if you want to, sh if you want to share your story about your struggle with OCD, how you're living with it, you're also welcome. Otherwise, guys, that's all I have for you today. And next week I'll be talking about panic disorder so that you see what it's all about. I wish you the very best. If you've not subscribed to this channel, remember to subscribe. Blessed and favored people have a beautiful day.